Okay. So quickly trying to look at another concept that you could see in a child. Alright. Can be uh we will, now we see it usually what usually tells you that there are a lot of things that are underlying there. You get so this is what is now the ratchetic rosary. Ratchetic rosary. So ratchetic rosary, so soon as what? Coastal chondral junction swelling or beading. You get so this is a ratchetic rosary, like can you see here? They're like you understand, they're like some things you understand. Ratchetic rosary. So see that ratchetic rosary just refers to beading or swelling of the coastal chondral junction. And the coastal chondral junction are the junctions between what? Like where the bony part of the ribs actually meet the cartilage, you understand? So um when you see these ratchetic rosaries in a child, it indicates a lot of things, right? So it's a whole mark for different things, right? Like it shows that maybe the child has rickets, a condition which is usually caused by what vitamin D deficiency. So uh, for features of this ratchetic rosary, we say that appearance it becomes enlarged and palpable, all right, right. So resembling a string of um, beads along the rib cage. That's why they call it a rosary. So the beading is visible under the skin and it's more prominent in severe cases. Causes could be rickets due to vitamin B D deficiency, scurvy, right? Then um, phos hypophosphatasia, that's reduced phosphate, chondral dystrophy, right? A condition of disorder like affect the cartilage and the bone development. So patho pathophysiology, the swelling occurs due to what overgrowth of the cartilage at the costal chondral junction, right? And this overgrowth is usually accompanied with a defective mineralization of the bone. So clinical significance is basically when you see it in a child, it shows that there's some underlying metabolic disorders or some nutritional disorders, you understand? And um, once you see it accompanied with um, signs like bow leg, delayed growth, you just wonder what is rickets, right? Management is basically are trying to now replace things that will make the bones grow well, vitamin D and calcium supplements. Okay.